More shenanigans. <laughs> More shenanigans are afoot. I am here in the outdoors, in the backyard, uh, somewhere I do not go very often. <laughs> I am here in the backyard, in the great outdoors, touching some metaphorical grass in my least favorite pair of pants because I don't like them and I'm deeming them my painting pants because maybe I'll like them a little bit more if they're covered in paint and if I don't at least they'll have a function. <laughs> I have another side quest and this one has a bit more of a drastic time limit. They all have a time limit uh, because at some point they need to be done, but this one has a little bit more of a drastic time limit. The second large project that I'm going to be doing for this chaotic season is a gift for my partner's dad. He likes space, and I want to paint him some space. Now, I haven't painted in many years, uh, well, I haven't painted with acrylic paint in many years. Uh, I don't paint all that often, and I'm a bit nervous about this because I haven't painted in so long. But, I figure, it, it doesn't matter what I think. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyways. I have enough audacity and gremlin ability to just just uh, do it so anyways my partner's dad has this pretty empty wall in his office but I wanted to make something for that empty space to make his office a little bit more his because when you go in there, it's pretty blank. It's pretty, like, people see this back wall. I don't know. I just wanted to make him something that, that, that was a bit, that fit a bit more for him. And maybe he would think was cool. So, I ran it by his wife. <laughs> she thought it was a good idea. And I ran, ran it by his child. <laughs> and... They thought it was a good idea, so as per usual, I'm going to bite off way more than I can chew and I'm going to try and do it. <laughs> I want to make three paintings. I want to have three canvases that... And this was the exact moment my mic cut out and died, so it didn't record my explanation. Essentially, I have a week, more like five days to paint a set of three paintings themed around space before Papa comes back from his trip. At this point, I had reference images picked out and I'm gonna link those in the description so you can take a look at what I was aiming for if you'd like. Uh, but onward to day one where all I do is paint a canvas black. I did it. I, I painted a black canvas. Voila. <laughs> that, of course, is, is not where uh, this is going to end. Um, but day one, <laughs> I painted the canvas black. <laughs> it was weird, but 
in kind of a good way. Um, it's been a very long time since I have painted with acrylic paint. It smelled like my high school art room, <laughs> which kind of threw me back. Um, of course, like, I haven't done anything particularly majestic here or anything, but it was interesting. I like, uh, painting was in itself was harder than I expected it to be. It, there was just kind of this reminder of like, right, okay, uh, you don't want the paint too thick, you don't want the layers too heavy, like that sort of thing. Um, I had the, the black paint that I bought is ivory black. It has a warm tone to it. I don't want a warm tone to the background of my space painting. So I added blue, so now it has a cooler tone to it. So like that, that sort of just weird things of remembering and figuring out. It felt good because I was just painting a canvas black and I just painted and I thought and I was just in the painting. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. it. It felt it felt good. It's been a very long time since painting has felt good, so I'm glad that messing around with painting a canvas black went well. I want to let this like base coat dry um, for day one painting and just painting a black canvas. It didn't go too badly. So, there we go. I really just wanted to get the base black, not white canvas done before I started trying to, to paint the actual space-ness. I'm probably going to be wearing the exact same clothes tomorrow because they're not particularly dirty and I have to get more paint on my paint pants. Uh, I, I got a little water on them, but that's about it. For a little while there, I thought that the black canvas would just be its own abstract painting because with the way that the wet paint was like lit by the light, like you can see it kind of now of just like abstract painting, <laughs> but it's just black. Acrylic paint, I remember, dries pretty flat, like that's one of the main differences between acrylic and oil paint. Uh, so hopefully it won't look like that, but if it does, then I mean, that's not the end of the world, it's just like kind of my own, like hey, this was made by me, uh, an amateur. <laughs> so it was fun, it's getting cold, the canvas is black, that's I think all I had to say. <laughs> See you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> silly goofy little guy. I'm a silly goofy little guy. <laughs> Doing silly goofy little guy things. Welcome to day two of futzing around with a black canvas. I come to you in the same exact clothes as yesterday, like I said I would. Except for this thing. Uh, the canvas dried overnight. Um, I left it in the garage. Don't leave your canvases outside because they'll get wet in the early morning. Do it. It looks like mostly fine. It's black. I think I'm gonna go over it with another coat of black paint. But yeah, black canvas. I'm hoping that today I can get into the more not black parts of space. Um, but we'll see about that. Um, I've got plenty of time though. Um, the birds are chirping. It's daytime, uh, for at least several more hours. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Let's futz around a bit more, see what happens. <laughs> to the black canvas. Ba -da 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 -da.
sun sorry the, is the sun in your is sorry is the sun in your face it is time to get into some blue <laughs> wish me luck Okay, so I also have two different types of sponges. This one has more texture in it, this one's a lot more flat, that I'm going to try to use two. It's going to be- this is a whole entire just chaotic experimentation, let's be real. So, the sun is going down. It's just starting to go down, so it's just starting to get dark. Um, I still have, like, plenty of light, um, but I think I'm reaching an end point. Yeah, I definitely have a whole bunch of, like, inner critic in me that's healing, but, like, holy shit. <laughs> I think I'm happy with it so far which makes me happy okay here we are i would say it's as good as done i can't tell if using my fingers for the stars was a good idea but I think I think it's as good as done. It's about uh I don't have a watch. Um I'd say it's about around 4:30 probably. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. So I think I might be done with one painting. 1 out of 3. We did it. We did it. First painting. As far as actually painting it went 
I had a I had a little trouble to start. I had trouble to start specifically in the like state of mind that I was in. I got really caught up in the fact that I was painting a picture and I wanted it to look like the picture, which like because the picture is really pretty and I want to be able to do the picture justice. But I think telling myself that I'm painting a picture, I'm painting an abstract painting of an abstract picture. Because like that picture is just shapes and colors and just existence. Um, I think after I told myself like, hey, stop. You are painting a painting based off of a picture. You're painting an abstract painting based off of an abstract idea, abstract picture. Like, I think that really started to help. And I started just kind of focusing less on trying to make it look exactly like the picture and more on just like, okay, where are the shapes? Where are the colors? Where are the... I don't know what you think of it, but my inner critic is all like, okay, so it's not amazing, but it doesn't need to be a masterpiece, I think. is It's one of the things that I need to work on on myself. A struggle I've had in understanding art as it exists, um, but I'm definitely going to look at it again tomorrow uh and see how i feel then um but i think for a day's work i'm pretty happy with it it's giving uh it's giving starry night vibes i i quite enjoy that so yeah i'll be back for day three for the second painting Today, it is windy and my body hurts. Welcome to day three of shenanigans. <laughs> I woke up today feeling pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tired, pretty exhausted and a little bit uh done so i'm gonna take it easy today i don't want to do so much to the point that i burn out but i do want to like it's the frustrated feeling of not wanting to push myself while i'm tired but also wanting to get things done so but i'm gonna try and take it easy today mostly just uh paint the canvases black get them ready get them set it's windy today, so I'm hoping that doesn't, that no um, dust or, or dirt or anything ends up on the canvas, but it doesn't really matter anyways. Yeah, so I'm just going to start by uh, setting up uh, the other two canvases, painting them black, and then I think I might pull out yesterday's painting and to take a look at it. Not sure I'll fix it up or anything, but maybe just... Uh, talk about it a little bit, take a look at it with fresh eyes, that sort of thing. Here we go.
I just finished canvas number two. So now I've got two black canvases. I'm running out of black paint, which is kind of a problem when you need black paint. I, th I th hope, I think I'm going to have enough. Uh, I'm not actually sure though. So if I need to go run out for black paint at some point, so be it. I think I'm going to stop there. It's very, it's a lot more windy today. Uh, it's blown up dust and little specks of dirt and dust are getting on the canvases, which I don't like. Um, so I think I'm going to stop for the day. Um, I'm going to put these in the garage so that they can dry properly. And then I think I'll bring out the finished one and kind of do, share my thoughts on how it's turned out, um, a day later. Thar she blows. Finished product. Uh, from yesterday. I know I already talked about it a little bit, but I just kind of wanted to, um, say a couple more things. Uh, looking at it with fresh eyes the next day like i kind of had already been thinking about it last night and um uh looking back at it uh in pictures and stuff like that just thinking about it so there's that but looking at it like in person on the canvas for the first time since i finished it basically and put it in the garage I'm really happy with it. I'm actually kind of surprised how happy I am with it. There's a couple of things that I think I would have done differently. Like, I, I think I like the little stars, but maybe if there was a little bit of a way to make them a little neater. Um, I think the ones up here turned out a lot better than the ones down here. Um, this area of orange where it just kind of ends at this, so like the little blurry orange here, and then there's the light line, and then it, it pretty much ends right on the other side of that. It looks just a little too abrupt for, I think, what I I like. Um, it, just looks it just looks cut off, um, a little too abrupt, but I'm, I'm really happy with the way that this star looks and has come out. I don't know how I did this. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I did this and I don't know how I did this. I'm really happy with those two parts. I'm glad that I went in with like a higher light, uh, on these lines, kind of to highlight them a bit more, uh, because I think it, it, uh, expresses the effect a lot better than if I had just left them um the the like background orange that they were yeah I was I was comparing it to the picture um and of course I had to kind of remind myself like hey this is a artist's interpretation effectively that's kind of what i had to tell myself while i was painting it was just like hey this is an artist's interpretation of what this looks like this is not what is exactly shown this is an interpretation this is an expression of it and i think i said yesterday like keeping that in mind really did help me um, because otherwise I was getting way too stuck in the, like, but it doesn't look like the picture, but it's not the perfect color, but it's not the perfect shape, but it's, like, disproportionate, and that was really, like, getting to me until I got myself to think otherwise. I'm definitely glad that I can set the camera up at a distance, because I think that's where it looks best, and that's convenient, because it's supposed to be on a wall, so, like just sitting a couple feet back like letting all the colors just kind of fuse together generally i think i'm happy with it uh i'm sure i could you know add and fix up some of those things that i don't that like aren't my favorite thing but i think i'm gonna leave it because i'm really satisfied with the work 
that I completed in one day and it's not something that's like really bothering me. Well, actually this might be really bothering me, but <laughs> I applaud anyone who can stop a painting one day and go back the next. I've never really been able to do that with like acrylic paintings. I applaud anyone who can just put a painting down and then come back to it uh, and fix up what they don't like or what they want to do better. But as for what I finished yesterday, I think I'm really quite chuffed with this and I, I think I'm satisfied with where it's at. And, um, I like the way it feels. <laughs> I think one last thing about this painting that, like, I kind of noticed about it, uh, is I don't think I quite made it. I think I kind of achieved it over here, but this bottom half is pretty I feel like pretty disconnected from the top half. Like these could be two separate paintings. Um, they're not, it's not quite cohesive. I think that has to do with like um, the color representation. Whereas like I I figured out more of an, an a brighter orange warm tone here. And I think it kind of took more of a deeper red tone up here. Um, and I don't think that I mixed them together too well uh, or like I don't think I I went back up here enough to try and and make that work but I think the thing that is is letting me like get away with it mentally um to not try and just go back and fix it and try to re mix paints and stuff like that like I don't think I'd have much luck with um remixing paints uh because this was all just on the fly. Um, but I think what what I get away with is because of this like light blue effect here, this light blue effect here, it matches somewhat the light blue effects on the sides over here. So I think that's what gets me to get away with it. <laughs> I'm satisfied. Day four. Day four of painting hysterically. The hysterics, and by hysterics I mean excitement, are lower. I. <laughs> it's a bit chilly out. Um, it was less windy when I first walked outside, but I think there's an occasional breeze, but hopefully it won't be kicking up as much dust and debris as it did yesterday. Very tired today. My body hurts. Um, I've got like weird cramping in my leg. Once again, it's that conflict between I'm very tired and I feel like I need a break and I want to get this done uh, because I would like to see it done. I'm starting on the second painting based off of the second picture today i think today's primary focus is going to be to just like listen to music and paint just like the last one i'm winging this so uh i think i'm i'm just going to have to to kind of go for it and um we'll see where it leads us I am unwell.
Okay, the sun isn't completely down, but it's basically down. I really can't see anything anymore, which is very frustrating. This is how it's gone so far. Um, I'm gonna have to look at it again tomorrow because I can't really see. <laughs> so I'll come back tomorrow. Um, I think I'm happy with it so far. It's definitely, um, definitely intense. A lot more chaotic than the last one. I'd like to, tomorrow I'd like to pull them both out, put them side by side, um, get kind of how they feel together. Um, cause this is supposed to be a set. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back for day five tomorrow. Well, maybe not actually tomorrow, but I'll be back for day five soon. <laughs>Day five of painting hysterically and yes the hysterics are back because today is the last guaranteed day of free rain painting <laughs> the papa is coming back tonight so I have I think it's about 1230 right now I have I have like four and a half hours to try and finish everything and I don't have to finish everything like if I don't finish everything that's fine but I would like to be done I would like to scratch this off my to-do list the primary focus for today is going to be painting the third painting I want to get that done it would be lovely to have that finished or as close to finish as I can get the secondary thing to do will be to review all of them at the same time and see what I can do to make them work better together. Like I've already decided that I need to add more orange to this one to make it a little more cohesive to this one over here. I have so many jitters right now. I think I just need to start because <laughs> I'm anxious, I'm running out of time, and um, I, I've got the frizzles in my body. <laughs> Wish me luck. I hope I can get a, a good part of this done. So I haven't been working on this very long, but I kind of find myself at odds because, or like stuck, because I'm like looking at this picture and I think I might just be getting too stuck on trying to replicate the picture, but I'm just having this moment of like, oh my gosh, I don't know how, I don't know how to do this. I don't know what skills to use or like I don't know if I have the skills to do this and it's kind of stressing me out especially because I have a time limit but yeah I just like I'm, I'm gonna keep painting but I I'm, I, I kind of have been standing here for a couple of moments just kind of thinking like oh what do I do next I don't know what to do next like that sort of thing 
kind of stressing me out. So, uh, this happened. Um, take my headphones off so I can hear myself. I don't actually know what time it is, but the sun's going down, so I'd say somewhere around 4.30 or 5. Papa is probably going to be home soon, so I don't know how soon that is, uh, but the sun is going down, so it's getting harder to see. So this happened. <laughs> I didn't actually document a lot of what was happening because I was actually having a lot of trouble with this one. Um, I don't know if it's just because there was like a break in between days that I was doing it, or if it really was just that this picture reference was just way more than I was going to be able to take, um, than I was going to be able to, to create, um, with my current skill set. I don't know, but I came up with this. And it took me, it actually took me several tries because the first thing that I did, it was very based with brushes. Um, so I was using brushes to try and create the lines and I had showed a little bit of it when I checked in, but pretty much immediately right after that, I looked at it and I wasn't liking it. So I took a bunch of blue paint and green paint and orange paint and I just went over it with a, a couple of sponges and then immediately regretted it because I was like, oh shoot. Um, <laughs> I then went in with palette knife, a palette knife, and I went in with a bunch of, it was a lot choppier, a lot more like just lines, and I think it was kind of working. I was actually liking the way it was looking, but then I stepped back again, and I didn't restart for a third time. But I stepped back and I stared away, I like st stared at the tree in our backyard for a couple of minutes and uh, and then I turned around and I literally said, oh my god, it's so ugly. I was having a lot of trouble trusting the process with this one, let's just say that. I was having a lot of trouble trusting the process. I was able to trust the process with these two, it went down real smoothly. The process came through, but this one... The process was not really coming through. I basically, I ended up adding like a bunch more green, a bunch more bright orange to like liven up um, the coloring. And then I went, I decided that I wouldn't just do palette knives. I would go in with a brush and smooth out this lining so that it would kind of match the shape just like the movement there's so much movement in these two pieces this one like i even think it looks like a dragon like this one it's just like whoosh but this one was looking like really spiky and choppy and it just it it it, would, it didn't look good as a set i think was really what was getting me like it didn't look that bad on its own but as a set it just was not it, it was not gonna work um, I wish I did document a little bit more of the process, but I was just getting so frustrated with how it just felt like it wasn't working. And like the other ones just kind of worked. And how this one just, it just wasn't working. And it's fair, it happens. I'm glad that I'm kind of happy with it now because I really wanted this to be a set of three. Like it was at this point where I wasn't sure I was gonna give him all three paintings. I thought that I might just like give him the two and be like, hey, <laughs> there definitely wasn't a third one. But I got it, I think, to a point that I'm decently happy with it um, and could actually give it to someone. I led the last several hours are genuinely, genuinely a blur. I would like to, I'm going to show off my, uh, step back a little bit show off my paint pants because they've reached a whole new level today because I was just standing and like just trying to get what I felt like was good color um good shaping good texture like anything I was just I was wiping palette knives off on my pants it was 
It was hard. This one was hard. This one... <laughs> I'm proud of, of, like, that I did it, but, but it was... It was testing me. It was really defeating to walk away from these two paintings and feel really, really good about them. And then try on this one and just feel continuously, continuously bad. And that happens with art. It happens and I'm like relearning that. So <sighs> this happens. This happens. <laughs> That's where we are now. I need to start cleaning up and hide these things. I'm hoping they can dry enough to that I can put them like in my room, hide them away um, before Papa gets home. I think today was just like it was hysterical painting for this week, but I think today was just the epitome of like fear and chaos and just like I was jumping and walking and just pacing around just trying to to do this and I think it's good enough. I think I'm I'm happier with it than it, I was an hour and a half, 2 hours ago. It's okay. It's getting dark. I need to I need to stop. I need to stop talking. Stop talking. Rah! This is probably horrendous lighting for this, but It'll, it'll do for, it's the only place I can put this stuff, so, and like have it all lined up, so it'll, it'll have to do. Finished, finished paintings, finished paintings. I wanted to have my finished paintings. I wanted to have a, like a final look at them before they were wrapped up and given as gifts for the holidays. I'm going to write uh, the names of the different fo reference photos of like what these space events things are. I'm going to write them along the side of the canvas um, after this. Uh, and I did look them up. I did do a little bit of research since I haven't actually said any of the names of the things yet. So. I put a satin varnish over all three of them to protect them a little bit. I chose satin over like matte and gloss because it looks the most, after it dries, it looks the most like the original acrylic dried. Um, whereas like matte varnish can like darken colors and gloss can just, is shiny so it can just make it look entirely different and so I didn't really want to risk it looking bad so i decided to go for a, a satin varnish i looked up where i got my original um reference photos and uh i have a list of the names of the of the reference photos the red one is the tarantula nebula taken by the the web telescope, the NIR cam image one. Um, the blue one is the chameleon one molecular cloud and that one was also taken by the web telescope or the web NIR ray camera. I did a little bit of research. I didn't do a lot of research. <laughs> and then the last one, this one is crab nebula taken by the hubble they're not they're not all the same um technology i think this one's older um but and these ones are newer so yeah i'm gonna write the names along the side so that you can like easily see it i'm i'm satisfied with them as a set like i kind of have the feeling of like it's good enough <laughs> like it's all right I think there are definitely things I could have done to make them look like work better together uh, as a set of images, but here they are now. I am very happy. Blah, blah, blah. I am very happy with the tarantula nebula painting. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I I love 
like the flow that I got in there there's personality and just like something about it and the way that the paint strokes work just makes me so happy and satisfied so I'm like this one I'm would never touch again I am very satisfied with this I'm very happy with the way it turned out if I was gonna do the crab nebula again uh, I would try to focus a lot more on developing flow between these uh highlights because right now it 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 just kind of looks jumbled and disconnected all these parts look really detached especially compared to like the tarantula nebula and even like parts of the chameleon one um it just looks a bit detached it looked like this the lines don't it doesn't flow and so i i would work more on that i got very caught up in the way that the picture looked and trying to translate that onto canvas when i really should have been focusing on expression versus accuracy not that this is accurate it's more just like I was very focused on the lines being right that it ended up looking wrong. The chameleon one, I'm it's it's I it's all right. I I know I'm not mad at it. Uh, there's things I definitely and like you can't really see it great right now because the lighting is crap. But there's things that I would do differently. Um, I'd make these uh, light lines thinner um, and more defined instead of this kind of like blurry look kind of like how I these lines in this star are much more defined than the ones on these and I like the way this looks better um but and like there's some things with like the lighting effects that I would do differently um and just kind of make it fit together a bit more especially these two parts um because they don't quite they just like don't really look like this they belong on the same canvas i'm i'm happy with like it's okay i'm i'm okay with it i'm not mad at it 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 looks all right it goes decently with the rest of them yeah i think one of my best decisions was you know how when Lots of times when you see paintings of, of stars and space and stuff that people will have like splattered paint to look like stars. I did that on all of these and I think that was the best decision I could ever make because it just makes it look more like space and space debris and stuff like that. So um, you can't see it great, but in person it's just it just adds an element of like, oh yeah, those are stars, that's space, that's awesome. So these are the finished pieces. I just wanted to sit down, take a final look, share the way that they are done, um, and now I get to give them away soon, in a, in a little bit, um, but yeah. I hope that Papa likes them. I'm decently happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm okay with giving, giving these paintings. So yeah, thank you for, uh, coming along on my shenanigans and on this video. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching these projects come together and, um, I had a lot of fun making them happen. Uh, you know, there was plenty of anxiety, plenty of stress, but I, I'm happy that I did them, uh, and I'm happy that I can give them to people. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming along. I'll see you some other time when there's more shenanigans afoot, so see you then. Bye.